Let's go. Let's speak to James, a Man United fan. Hello, Jimmy. Uh, but how are you? I'm good. How are you? You all right? You well? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's a um, bit of a shocking football today to see Gareth give up the boots. Mm-hmm. Um, what a fantastic career, and I just don't believe he's been given the credit he's been given after everything he's won. Um, you had a caller on earlier, I told, like, slating him, really, and I think it's disrespectful, like, what he's done. James, let me, ask you, let me ask you this. If he would have signed for Man City, Man United, Liverpool, right, and won those five Champions Leagues, do you think we would think about him any differently than we do today? I think so. I think he would have got more credit, but because he won it in another country, I just don't think he still got the credit for what he got. Um, look, look at who he's played with over the years. He's played with some amazing players, and I can't really say no more than that. Like I, I see Gareth uh, play at Upton Park um, in 2014 when he scored that absolute streamer in the 90th minute, mm. and he, in his young days, he was just an animal. He didn't stop. Didn't give up. He's just like Darren, you know, you play with him. He was a brilliant player. Mm. He was a brilliant player. I mean, it'd it be interesting to see what people think is in terms of the greatest British player because obviously you talk about eras. When I talk, think about this era, obviously mine, like Rooney's up there. Mm. Like there's, there's a genuine argument between them two for me, who's the best? Yeah. It's difficult because you think about it's another one, but he's another one who gets disrespected. It, can, can Kane get into this bracket? Does he need to win I think three to, or four biggies? He's got to do, I think, something. In, individual accolades, fair enough. But yeah. he's got, he's, you've got to find a way. You look at these guys, Rooney's and the Bells, the, even when maybe... I know oh it's a bit stupid to think that they haven't been... The, the, they've played in poor teams, but they've found a way to navigate their team or get themselves back into a game where it means they have to win something. Bale, yeah. i.e. against Liverpool in the Champions League final. Yeah. Comes up, bang, two goals, they win it 3-1. That overhead over kick was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. But individually, yes, Kane's good, but, mm. I mean, Rooney, people... Be, cool. Karen, no, what, what I don't know what to say. Okay. Uh, maybe Matthew knows what he was going to say. Hello, Matt. How are you? Well, we are, I mean. I'm oh, good. How are you doing? You all right? You well today? Not too, not, yeah, I'm doing good. sound. Not too bad. Uh, I just wanted to start the conversation before we get into the bones of it by saying Bale's just retired and he's hands down definitely one of the greatest British players of all time. If not, if we're talking in the pantheon of greats, just one of the greatest attackers of all time. He's superb mm. and we should be celebrating his career instead of... Yeah trying to sensationalise it by saying, oh, is he the greatest of all time? But I just want to get into it by saying, in terms of British players' careers, there's quite a few players that you could argue, and I'll emphasise the word argue, (laughs) because I'm not necessarily presenting the case for any given one of these players. But you look at Steven Gerrard and what he does in terms of a team, and now I can speak on that personally because I'm a Liverpool fan and I obviously witnessed him for the best part of 20 years. Um, and what he did throughout his career, the amount of games he played, his versatility, his technical ability, his tackling, his, um, his vision, um, his professionalism, because obviously longevity should be considered when we're talking about how great a career is and how great a player is in terms of history. But then if we're going to look at trophies won, I stumbled across, it was before my time, but my dad used to go every game since 1970 or something like that since he was a teenager um, and he was sensitive to the cough. He watched Liverpool for God knows how many years. And Phil Neal, now Phil Neal is is an English right-back who many may not have heard of, but he's one of the most decorated mm. British players of all time. He's won four Champions Leagues, or European Cup as it was known. He's won eight English Leagues. He's won a Super Cup, a UEFA Super Cup, mm. A UEFA Cup, four League Cups and five Super Cups. Now, I'm not saying Phil Neal technically was anywhere near as good as Gareth Bale, but if we're going to use the arguments of trophies won, you just need to take one look at Phil Neal to to, to present that case. You know, so I think it's a hard decision to make and it's a hard point to call whether he is the greatest of all time, but I think we should be celebrating it. But if we are entertaining the argument, there are many players right. that we could put forward. Phil, Phil, thank you for your call. Great call, Matthew. Phil knows a great show, actually. Yeah. What a superstar he was as well. Uh, good call. Well done, Matt. Thanks for that. We'll-